Hello guys, I'm Pragati and today we'll paint a beautiful landscape. It's a river view along with rocky mountains. After selecting the picture, selecting right color palette is important. I have started with shades of blue for water. For mountains, we'll take shades of brown. A little bit of red just in case as you can see trees behind so we'll need shades of green olive green is my personal favorite for highlights and shadow we'll use black and white let's start sketching so this step is not really important if you cannot sketch the picture you can simply trace it out I'm done sketching now we'll start painting. I'll start with water first. I'm scotching the color directly onto my canvas as I see them in my picture. Starting with cobalt blue. Adding little aqua green. A little bit of light green cobalt blue again for shadows and water we'll go with the darker blue which is the Prussian blue near the rock edges we are also going to need some brown for reflection of rocks and water we'll do it later We'll start blending the color. We don't want to blend it too much, otherwise it will not look realistic. Go in with small patches. It's okay if it does not look finished or smooth at this stage. We are almost done with our base color. Some little more aqua green. Now brown for the rock reflection in water. We'll also need some black to add more definition to the reflection.
some more brown We'll use a little aqua green and blue to mix this shadow with our water. Not too much, just little. I think we are done with water now, we will let the water dry, till then we will do the rocks, I have taken the shades I need, I have taken yellow, brown, green, black and off white, I have also taken a little bit blue because I see some patches on the rock, think of it in parts and not whole at once, select the small areas and start painting. Try to replicate it as you see in the picture. Do not worry about how it looks. So I am painting this first row. The best part about this painting is that since it's a nature drawing and we are painting rocks, you do not have to have a perfect shape or perfect proportion even if you go a little wrong or I would say a little different than the original picture even then it is going to look beautiful So we always start with the middle tone so that's the technique that I like. Anytime you are painting any 3D object you always start with the mid tone then you add the shadow the darker tone of it and then you add the highlight. Highlight for me always goes in the end. Here there are different rocks, they are placed one next another. We have to remember that wherever two rocks meet, we are going to have a darker portion, we are going to have shadow. So between two rocks, we are going to have black patches. I went with lighter grey over here, adding some black.
adding tones of yellow, brown and then black. The stroke or the angle of the brush really matters. It makes your picture look more real and the way you want it. So if you are drawing something flat, you have to use horizontal stroke. If you are drawing something that's vertical, you should use vertical stroke. So here I've used vertical strokes and there I've used slanting strokes which makes my rock look more slanting. adding some green patches some blue stroke Now we'll do the rocks behind. We'll create one base color for it which is the medium tone and paint it. We'll paint all the rocks behind in the same manner. This patch is far away, we don't need any details over there, so I just gave it a single color. Here we'll add some highlight, some lighter shade and then darker shade for the shadow. See how this shadow starts giving it a meaning. It has now started to look like a rock. Those rocks are far away, we do not need much details, but yes, uh, this black shadow made it look 3D already, so we are done. These vertical green strokes is nothing but the forest behind. Again, we don't want any details here because it's far away.
adding some greenish yellow for the grass effect we'll tone it down with little bit of black and brown now the rocks at the front those rocks are little more yellow as compared to the other rocks we will go in with the medium tone yellow and then add the shadow and then add the highlights before that let me just correct this water area i accidentally colored it i forgot to color that part so i'm coloring it now that's the best part about acrylics you can overdo your paintings you can correct it at any point of time just that you have to be really quick the colors dry really fast completing that stone reflection in water i think now we are good to go We'll now start with the mid tone for rocks, which is why I have taken off white, yellow ochre, and we'll use brown for the shadow. I think by now you already have learned how to paint a rock. This is going to be an easy task for you now. blending colors well Before we do highlights, let's just, let us just quickly make some trees. This green is way too light. We'll tone it down using a darker green. Otherwise, it is going to look really weird. Darker green. Now we'll draw the stems. The stems here are really minute ones, but do not forget to add shadow to it. Otherwise, the picture will not look good. So I'm just going to go in with one black line near the stem, and that's that. Add 
adding final touch to the trees. We'll now use dry brush technique to add the shadows. This is the best part. I love this part and this step makes your picture pop out so well and so 3D. So I'm taking some black, some white, and little bit of off-white. I'll make sure my brush is completely dry before I go in with this step. All the rough texture that I want for rocks and all the shadows, I'll do it using this black brush. Some more shadow Do not forget the rocks in the front. Use black fearlessly and your picture will look magical. We are almost there. Redefining some rock reflection. We'll add some off-white highlight for the rocks. I overdid white highlight on that row so I'm adding the green patches to balance it. And now is the final step. We'll do the water. This white is nothing but the water foam that forms when it clashes against the rocks. 
starting with horizontal strokes more white near the rock edges since it is water we'll try to keep our brush in horizontal direction will not move it vertically almost done have patience use thinner and smaller strokes the smaller the strokes the better the picture will come out i hope you guys are enjoying this i'm using dabbing motion i'm just dabbing the colors uh towards the edge because it will give it more foamy effect i'm not doing it everywhere just where i want it to look more foam we'll also use some dark blue that's the prussian blue which will give it more realistic effect my hand has started to pain already but it was worth i'm already loving it let me know how do you find it in the comments below do follow me on instagram my page is color stories underscore by underscore pragati follow me there for more such art Thanks for watching.